In this lesson, we will modify our existing program from Lesson 3. We will add the ability for the volume to increase when it reaches 0 and then decrease when it reaches 1. This can be done with the addition of another shift register and some logic to determine whether our volume should be fading or getting louder. Let's add our shift register by right-clicking on the while loop. Select Add Shift Register. In this case, we want our shift register to be a Boolean value. So let's initialize it by dropping a Boolean true constant to the left of our while loop and wire that to our shift register. Our new shift register will determine whether our volume is increasing or decreasing. Now we need to add some additional logic in our case structure. When our shift register has a true value, we want to decrease our multiplier. When our shift register has a false value, we want to increase our multiplier. To accomplish this, we're going to use the select function. But first we need a little more room. An easy way to increase the size of a structure is to place your mouse inside of that structure, press the control key in the left mouse button, and drag the mouse. Everything is automatically resized to accommodate your larger structure. Now we need to change our subtract function in the true case of the case structure to an add function. This can be done by right clicking on the subtract function and selecting replace. Select the numeric palette, find the add function, and click it. Delete the constant wired into the add function. Find the select function in your comparison palette and place it below and to the left of the add function. Connect the output of the select function to the open input of the add function. When our shift register is true, we want to decrease our multiplier, so let's right click on the true input of the select function and create a constant of negative 0.02. When our shift register is false, we want to increase our multiplier, so right-click on the false input of the select function and create a constant of positive 0.02. Wire the Boolean shift register to the select input of the select function. Now we need to add the logic to determine when to increase and decrease our volume. When our code starts, our new shift register will be true because we have initialized it with a true value. When the user clicks on the fade button, the multiplier will be reduced by 0.02 each time through the loop. When our multiplier reaches 0, we want to change our Boolean shift register value to false so that the next time through the loop we will begin increasing the volume. Begin by removing the NOT function wired to the loop conditional terminal and deleting the broken wire to the terminal. Right click on the terminal and create a control. Open the comparison subpalette or the quick drop menu and place a SELECT function to the right of the INRANGE and COERCE function. Connect the INRANGE output of the INRANGE and COERCE function to the SELECT input of the SELECT function. Wire the output of the SELECT function to the Boolean shift register on the right side of the while loop. Now we need to wire our Boolean shift register to the TRUE input of the SELECT function. When our multiplier is between 1 and 0, or in range, the value of the shift register will be unchanged. Open the Boolean subpalette or the quick drop menu and place a NOT function close to the false input of the SELECT function. Now create a branch on the Boolean shift register wire and connect it to the input of the NOT function. Wire the output of the NOT function to the false input of the SELECT function. Now when our multiplier is more than 1 or less than 0, or not in range, the value of the Boolean shift register will change. To complete our code, wire the coerced x output from the in range and coerced block to the multiplier shift register. Move and wire the volume level indicator to this wire. Now we can switch back to the front panel and run our code. Notice that when the fade control is pressed, the volume will decrease to zero and then increase back to one. This behavior repeats as long as the fade control is pressed. In this lesson, we modified our program from lesson three. We added the ability to raise and lower the volume by having our program execute different segments of code, otherwise known as states.